France 24's François Picard has been covering the election for us from Berlin. He joins me now from there. François, break it all down for us, if you will. Germany is looking at a very complicated future in the next couple of weeks. That's right. A new race begins uh, and one that could last uh, months on this Monday. We kind of got an inkling of it uh, uh, during uh, that uh, live television uh, around with all of the major candidates, uh, which our Berlin correspondent Nick Spicer likened to uh, speed dating, since now they're going to have to f do this tricky arithmetic of doing a three-way uh, coalition here in Germany. You know, Jeannie, I'm kind of wondering, am I in the wrong place? We're outside of SPD headquarters, and Olaf Scholz uh, is poised uh, by a narrow margin to become the next chancellor of Germany. But during uh, that uh, uh, TV round last night, we saw the Greens and the Liberal FDP par uh, party, junior coalition partners in theory, uh, who uh, were starting to talk amongst each other. And both parties have now said that they will negotiate with each other before they approach either uh, the Social Democrats or the outgoing uh, CDU. So that's how it's beginning to look. What's interesting is those junior coalition partners, younger people voted for them rather than the big tent parties, which are the CDU and the SPD. So that's also a, an interesting factor in all of this. Uh, Germany is looking for its bearings. It's also haunted. By the last time, when the FTP suddenly slammed the door on negotiations, it prolonged all those negotiations uh, by weeks and even months. Uh, the quip of many here in uh, Berlin is we're wondering, will it be Angela Merkel reading the New Year's message? <laughs> Francois, what are people there saying about all of this? What kind of reaction has there been from Germans to the results? Two sorts of reactions. One, it's really you're waking up and going to work uh, this, this Monday with the realization that, yeah, Merkel may be the caretaker chancellor, but it is the end of an era. And 16 years in power for one party uh, is a lot. So there is going to be changed, albeit nuanced change. Germans want to tack to the center. And what we saw uh, with uh, those poll numbers uh, that, that are starting, uh, the exit polls that have accompanied those results is... Uh, that the extremes did not do well, the far left, the far right. The other lesson we can draw is that uh, climate change is a serious worry. The SPD was a big winner on the night, but so were the Greens, increasing their margin uh, by 5%. They're going to have a record number of uh, parliamentarians in the next Bundestag. François, thanks for that. François Nifres, François Picard, they're reporting for us from Berlin.